Shalom everyone, this is Sophia, the Ameru Khan Maryam, and I just want to talk a few minutes about um, the daughters of Zion and our inheritance. And so this is some information that has um, been revealed to me at least in the last few days, and I thought it was prudent to share this information because... Um, you know, this is one of the goals of our fast. We want to be restored. And so in order for us to be restored, um, I think part of that is knowing what has to be restored and who has to do the restoring. And so um, if you've seen the flyer for the fast, which has the mantra on it and the scripture, I want to talk about the scripture for a few minutes. So if you read all of chapter five of Nehemiah, it is discussing... Um, Basically, what happens is Nehemiah is rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem and the people are very upset because they don't have anything. And somewhere in that chapter, it talks about how Nehemiah is. First of all, he doesn't take his. Um, um, what is it called? The, not the tithes, but the, um, he doesn't take the taxes um, that are owed to him because it feels like it's too much stress on the people. And then on top of that, he's feeding 150 people at his table every night. And you know, he's one of us because they're eating, you know, ox and, uh, or cat beef and, and, um, lambs and all he wants is some chicken. <laughs> he's like, well, that's what he says. He he's having for dinner is chicken. They're eating, you know, beef and lamb and he's like yeah I just want some chicken so anyway typical Negro behavior and um one of the things that he um you know is kind of vexed about is that the people come to him and they say you know they they took our our vineyards they took our fields they took our animals when we couldn't pay the taxes they took when we couldn't pay the taxes they took our children and sold them into slavery. Now, who's the they? The they is the nobles of Jerusalem and the priests of Jerusalem. They are the ones who did the taking. And so um, Nehemiah considers this. And then he went and told those people, um, y'all need to give it all back. And the scripture um, that I highlight, Nehemiah 5 and 11, it specifically says in the in the Bible, I looked at six different versions of the Bible. It says one hundredth when it talks about how much money has to be rest restored. And I thought about that. I said one hundredth. How can you know how much one hundredth is of, um, you know, an amount like that's kind of weird. But all the Bible said that. So I went and look at the Hebrew version. And I promise like, I'm not looking to start trouble, I promise. But in the Hebrew ver version, it says 100 silver coins. That's what they are to restore to us. Along with the vineyard, the, uh, the, the land, the houses, the new wine, the old wine, the new oil, the old oil, everything. Everything plus 100 gold coins. So not only do they have to restore everything to us, they also have to pay. It comes with a price because the way that it's supposed to work is every 50 years, there is a Jubilee. Now I began watching the video from repo man, um, which some people don't, you know, care for all that, you know, rapture talk, but he was, he said something very important that I want to mention here. When you have a Jubilee, everything that they took, everything that the noble person got for the last 50 years, they have to return it to the person they got it from every 50, every generation. So this is not just, Oh, they're supposed to, we haven't missed out on, on, you know, one or two Jubilees. Our people have missed out on seven, eight, 10 Jubilees every 50 years. Now that means, for example, if you inherited something, you had to sell it off to pay bills, whatever. When you turn 70, Let's say you sold it off at 20. When you turn 70, they're supposed to return it to you. And then what do you do? You pass it on to the next generation because you'll be dying soon. That's how it's supposed to work. 
So the um what Repo Man specifically said was that the only person who's mad at this is the rich man because every 50 years he uses he loses his workforce, he loses this, he loses that. That is how it's supposed to work. They're supposed to return everything that they took. Everything. Everything that you sold off, they are supposed to return it. If you were sold into slavery at birth, then by age 50, they're supposed to um, they're supposed to return you. That's what the whole retirement age is, quote unquote. They're supposed to return you to your freedom 50 years in. But I guess they figure, well, you're not really becoming a, a valuable member of society until you turn 13. So we'll make the age of retirement 60. It was 60. Then it was 62 and a half, right? And then it's now 65. And then in in France, they made it 70. And that's what made all those people start to say, what the heck is going on here? So this is what is supposed to happen. They're supposed to return everything that they took. Every 50 years, there's supposed to be a reset. So this is why they're pushing for a reset so hard because the system is not built to last more than 50 years at a time. It has to reset every 50 years. That's built into the system. That's built into the cosmic timing is that every 50 years we have a reset. And so this is important to know because in order to understand what our inheritance is, what they owe us, we need to be really, really clear on what they've taken and how long that they've taken it. And another part of this is understanding that our inheritance is built into this system. What does that mean? I'm going to talk about that first. I have been talking about the fire ratio a few weeks ago. I put a post up. I've been, you know, contemplating this whole thing of the fire ratio. Okay. So the fire ratio is called the golden ratio and it's 1.618 and every culture in the world, all of their famous buildings have this ratio built in. Um, and it's, it, you know, it's, 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 can be measured. It's, it's, you know, it's everywhere. Okay. And so here's the problem with the fire ratio for me. It's not a whole number. God is complete. So how can you have a ratio called the golden ratio, which is an incomplete ratio? 1.618, that's incomplete. And it's it's no way to measure anything, right? There's no way to measure anything. You can't really measure 1.618. You know, you can demark it, which is what they do when they build their buildings. But you can't measure 1.618, you know, with a ruler. It's very difficult. And also, anyway, that I won't go into that because that's a little bit more difficult. And all of this, and no numbers are also difficult for people to kind of understand. But I just want to throw it out there. That part, you know, that's a, that that's my that was my problem. The five ratio was incomplete. Yes, it's a, a demarcation, but it's not one that you can easily demark if you're trying to figure out. And so the one of the 1.618 is the mother and the father, the, the Shema, the Lord, our God is one, the mother and the father, they have equal portions. That would be one altogether. That's one. Okay. Cause they are the same one and the same. Okay. Jesus, Yeshua, whoever his particular portion of that ratio is the 0.618. That is known as the little phi, which is also called the fee. Now, um, I don't think I've said this on camera yet, but fee is very similar to fe, right? And if you think of um, Morgan, the Morgan, Morgan Le Fay, like I, I mean, this is from a few months ago, so some of y'all might not remember, but fe is fairy, but... The people who writ, wrote the fairy tales, they replaced the F from an M. 
They're merry tales. Just think about this. This was King Arthur and his band of merry men. Who are merry men? What is that? What is what is that? What is that? Merry men? No, they're fairy. Well, they're merry, but merry as an oracle, as in the Sybil, as in the mother. Okay? That's what they were. They were representations of the mother. The merry men were the representations of the mother. Okay? And so... Basically, as I have previously stated, if you look at the the fairy tales of King Arthur, specific, specifically, you have Jesus, who is actually King Arthur. And remember, Lazarus is Merlin. Um, and Morgan Le Fay is Mary Magdalene. Magdalene, Mary. Morgan, Magdalene, very close. Very, very close. And we know that the people who are doing this are not the bro- most brilliant people. So you have to be able to trace this back to etymology or it doesn't work. And so you have fairies are really Marys. Mary is a title. Again, that's a title. One of the titles I have, Maryam, which is Sybil Oracle. That's what it, that is what it means. So King Arthur was the masculine version of the Oracle. Morgan Le Fay was the feminine version of that oracle. Then you had Guinevere, who I think was Mary Martha. That's a whole nother thing. I haven't gotten to all of that yet. But I just wanted to, to, to delineate that part with the fee as Faye and it's really May as Mary. Okay. May is Mary. So when you think about the names that are in your family, if you have great grandmothers, aunties, you know, whoever, and they were something May, something May. They were the ones who were the designated oracle of the family. Now, all of those people did not actually take the role, and we'll have to get into that into another video. But I just wanted to get people starting to think about how they can trace their lineage because they had to demark us somehow. They had to demark us somehow. We internally had to be demarked somehow. And one of the ways was that May title, okay? Or specifically Mary or whatever. That's how we were demarked. Okay. And so. I say all that to say about the fire ratio. And the May and the fee and whatever. To say that our inheritance is built into that ratio. And this is what they never wanted us to find out. The, the father and the mother. They never forgot us. They built us the daughters of Zion into that ratio. And the way we are built into that ratio is if you take two, two minus five, two minus five, which is two minus 1.618, which equals 0.382. When you add three, eight and two together, you get 13. The 13th child is Dinah. That was her inheritance. Now, her inheritance wasn't the 0.382. Specifically, we are built into the ratio. This is why they can't build those buildings because they think it's just the five ratio. No, those buildings also take into account the 0.382. That's why they can't build those buildings, okay? They need us. They need the Daughters of Zion. We are the only ones who have those capabilities. It is built into us. Just like our inheritance is built into this ratio, because since when is the most high incomplete? He does everything complete. So if he's going to give 0.618 to his son, what is he going to give to his daughter? Well, in the stories of how dowries worked, the daughter, the, the dowry the daughter got was an equal portion. It was an equal portion. Okay. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? It was an equal portion. For us, it's going to be a double portion. And that is because we are going to be given dominion that our brother had, which is the 0.618 plus the one of the mother and the father. We are going to be given everything. We're not going to get one. We're not going to get 1.618. We're going to get two. The double portion. That is why Elisha 
asked for a double portion of what Elijah had. Elijah had the 0.618. Elisha got the double portion, which is why I think Elisha is a female, which I had said for, from the beginning when that story started coming up that Elisha was a female. And that's why she was mad that everybody was talking about her having a bald head because your hair is your crown. But one of the curses of the daughters of Zion and the daughters of Jerusalem was a bald head. And so that's been my, you know, position from the beginning. And I'm sure of it now. So we're not going to just be given 0.382. No, 3.382 is what the box we've been in up to this point without our power being restored. Without the Most High restoring us, we were confined to the 0.382. Okay, that's what we've been given. And even with our 0.382 of two, we have done so much. We have accomplished so much. But now it's time for us to be given the full, the fullness of our inheritance, the full two and then when you think about it the double portion it's time it's time and you know the theme of the last fast was i know i have a double portion and now i know that i know that i know because we were built into that ratio it's just they never wanted us to find out that who are the meek who are the meek was leah meek was Dinah meek? Okay. Who are the meek? And if we're daughters of Dinah, Diana, from the bloodline of Leah, um, who are the meek? Who are the meek that will inherit the earth? What is that inheritance? Oh, it's everything. It's a double portion. So not only will we inherit the physical realm, we're also going to inherit the spiritual realm. Our brother, he had, you know, he had the mother and the father, plus he had the 0.618. He didn't have the fullness, which is why he had to send the comforter to bring the other part. So what is it that we are going to get? What is that? What is the other part that he didn't have? It's everything. It's everything. We're, we are to inherit everything. The, the full spirit realm in the full physical realm, the full double portion, the Most High is going to put us in charge of everything. And that is what we are seeking in this fast. We, if, we, if we mess up a little bit, and, and, and mind you, we never messed up before. It's not that, oh, the last time women were in charge, we met. that's not what happened. That's not what happened. We didn't mess up before. We didn't mess up before. That's a lie. We didn't mess up before. We've never been given a full portion because it wasn't the time. Because when when we get a full portion, that's when it's time to go into the millennia of peace. Eternal peace. We came out of that eternal peace to go through this part, to give other souls a chance to ascend. But quite frankly, um, the ones who are going to ascend will ascend and the ones who are not cannot. And the reason why it has to be like that is because we, as the children, as the daughters of Zion or Jerusalem, whichever one, we can no longer stand like this. This is too much. We need every angel and every demon and every deity on deck to come and restore us now. Like immediately, not, you know, 40 days from now. Our 40 days is us showing our commitment to this restoration. But we cannot save ourselves. And so I am not asking to save myself. I'm asking all the angels, all the demons, and all the spirits, all the entities, all the ancestors, everyone that's available to come and restore me. And to, by default or, or by association, we will all be restored at different times when we're ready. But I need to be restored immediately. And I can't do it myself. This is not my battle. This was never my battle. But I am the face of it because that is my job. And so the moral of this story is that we have to ask all the angels, all the demons, and all the ancestors, and all the other spirits to come and 
restore our inheritance. We need to be restored immediately. Immediately. And you have to ask. No one's going to do it if you don't ask. If you're not, you don't think you're ready, it doesn't matter. You're nev- you will never be ready. Because people are doing so much black magic on us, specifically, that you can never be ready. You can never be ready because you can never get out of this black magic by yourself. You literally just have to be restored and then hope that your heart is pure enough to deal with the restoration. Because if you're waiting to be pure heart, it can't happen like this because it's too much magic being done. And it's not that we didn't cancel the magic because we certainly cancel it. Absolutely. It's canceled and Leviathan is gone. However, these people's energy is still going somewhere. And because it's, you know, waving, woven these paths that lead to us, that, that are tethered to us, even when you untether them, they still can catch up with you. Now, you know, people who used to be able to shape shift in my dreams and I didn't catch them, I'm able to catch them now. But the fact that they're still storing up in my dreams is telling me that I it is not any power that I have to stop this. So I, I am in this video specifically requesting all the angels, all of the demons, all the ancestors and all of the spirits, gods, whoever to come in and restore me. Restore me. I need to be 100% or 200% really. I need to be 200% restored. I need my double portion. I can't do it myself. There's no praying or fasting that will do. And so you have to come to the conclusion that you can't do it yourself. And that you need help. And the help you need is going to come from the other realm. Up, down, you know, we're going to rule everybody. Every, who would not want to be ruled by us? We are fair. We understand people. We're compassionate. Even when, you know, I'm dealing with a situation where an individual um, has a lot of shortcomings as a person, but I'm, I have compassion on him. And what he can do, I uh, appreciate tremendously. And so I just say, do what you can. And what he can do, he does. And I have, I have compassion on that. Actually, it's more than one person now that I've said it like that. I just, whatever you can do, just do what you can do. And I'll, I can figure out the rest. But now I can't figure out the rest. I need my ancestors, angels, guides, spirits, demons, everybody. Everybody needs to come and restore me because I cannot do it myself. It's ne- it was never for me to do myself. And so this is just the confirmation that we are to be given a double portion. They know they have to give us back everything plus a hundred silver coins. That was in that that's, that's in the Hebrews, you know, the ish book, the professional victims unit, that's in their book that they have to give us back a hundred silver coins. I need to be completely restored. Everything, all of my land, all of my everything plus a hundred silver coins, all of it. Everything that's been taken from me, everything that's been held up, everything that's, you know, still pending and these people act like they don't know what I'm talking about. All these people that, you know, come onto these platforms and, you know, try and take stuff from people or whatever. Everything has to be restored to me. Now. I can't. Enough is enough. And just like Nehemiah said. I wasn't going to pull out my Bible. I knew it was coming. Just like Nehemiah said, listen. Just like Nehemiah said, I'm shaking out the folds of the garment. Okay, this is not my towel, but I'm shaking out the folds of the towel. Y'all see it being shook out. Okay. All right. Just like Nehemiah says. So may God shake out each man from his house and from his property who does not perform this promise in the book. Even thus, may he be shaken out and emptied. 
Everyone who does not return to me what is owed to me as a daughter of Zion or a daughter of Jerusalem, may he be shaken out and emptied now. And the church said, amen. The clock is ticking. My ancestors and my angels and, and these demons, they're not, it's, it's over. We want our, we want it back now. The fast hasn't even started. It must be now. It's now. Now, I mean, the easy way or the hard way, like I always say, there's an easy way you can do this. And you have lovely Mother Mary back here to ease your wounds as you do this the easy way. Or you can get Santa Morte and it can be the hard way. And it doesn't matter to me which one it is, but it must be now. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And so as we move closer to this fast, I am going to start my fast today. Um, I don't know exactly, um, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on, but the energy is the inner, the portal is open now. And so I'm going to, um, begin my supplications now. So those are the flowers that I have. Um, it's still time to get on to the petition list. Um, if you're interested, um, or if you're going to participate in the fast starting on, it starts on Tuesday, officially, you are more than welcome to, um, get on the list for that, but I am, um, starting with some form of fasting today and, um, y'all, this is, this has been such a long road and so difficult and so painful and it never was supposed to be. They were never supposed to do us like this. It, it was never, they were never given the permission to do us like this. And yet, um, this is what has happened. And so this is why we cannot wait for our restoration. It has to be now. And the angels, the demons, the ancestors, the ascended masters, the spirits, they have to come in. They have to make this right now. Because indeed they were lied to, just like we were lied to. A lot of them were lied to about who we were and what we were doing. And now it's been since revealed that that was not actually the case. We we weren't doing those things that they said we were doing. That was a that was the Leviathan lying about who we were and what we were doing. That was not we weren't doing those things. We weren't doing those things. We are we are pure like our mother. We weren't doing those things. They were. They were absolutely doing those things. And then they were saying we were doing it. We weren't. All we wanted was love and light. And I still want love and light. But I'm also prepared for the judgment. It, the judgment must come in order for us to, to get into the love and the light. And it doesn't mean that everything is going to be perfect. I'm not at all saying that. But what I am saying is that it has to be better than it is right now. And, um, I, we just have to be restored. We have to be restored. Um, it's, 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 this is, this is, this is sink or swim right now, you guys. And, um, I pray that each one of you is protected and blessed and, um, that you are able to step into your power and accept your role and um, fulfill um, the cries from the ancestors of us to to rule the top and the bottom, the up and the down, the heavens and the earth are all under our control. If you will accept that it is and request that the Most High restore your inheritance. So, shalom everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.